Thank you, greetings in the name of uh, God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. I thank God for the opportunity to to share uh, today on the title uh, "Founding a Life Relationship," uh, specifically for the uh, SDARM SPAM uh, Youth um, Convention. And I plead that God will uh, bless the messages we share it today. And before I share it, I'd like if we can uh, just spend a few moments in prayer, just to commit this. This time unto the Lord, and let's pray. Thank you. Let's pray. Christus Heavenly Father, we're so thankful for your love and mercy. We thank you for, for your protection, your providence, and your love and your mercy ever, ever protecting us all this time through. And we're so thankful, Lord, for everything that you've done in our lives. Father, as we as we about to hear your word, we ask you, Lord, for the specific title, Founding a Life. Relationship. We ask you, Lord, to lead us and guide us. We specifically ask the guidance of the Holy Spirit to speak to us, uh, specifically for the youths that are listening in today. May their may their soul be blessed, and may you may you work uh, uh, the message in their hearts and for us, for all of us, Lord. And may you will be done, Lord, as as we hear your word in our time of preparation. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you once again, um, my fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. And um, I thank God for the opportunity once again to be uh, one of the, the blessed few that will share a message for specifically for the youth, um, for the SPAM youth. And uh, I say a big bulabinaka from, from the Fiji youths to all the youths out there from French Polynesia, Samoa, uh, right up to... Uh, uh, Vanuatu, uh, the Solomon Islands, right up to Papua New Guinea, not forgetting our, our blessed youths as well from uh, New Caledonia. Praise God for the opportunity to, to spend time in the Lord. And my title today is called Founding, Founding a Life Relationship. Founding a Life Relationship. Um, so as we begin today, I'll, um, I praise God that God has given us the opportunity to, to share. And the key text for us today in the um, and the key text for us that I've, that I've been given is is uh, is uh, taken from Psalms 127, uh, verse one. It says, "Except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that built it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman walketh but in vain." Now, beloved, we thank God for. Um, for this and, and uh, Psalms 127 is is a specific psalm that um, that that speaks about uh, uh, that speaks about uh, the fact that the the um, the people of God uh, are on their way to to celebrate in Jerusalem. This is uh, a psalm that is written. Psalm 127 is between 120, Psalm 120 to Psalm 134 that talks about the songs that they sing as they worship God, as they ascend, making their climb to Jerusalem. Um, this is a song that they focus and to thank God um, and saying in this specific, specific uh, particular uh, Bible verse, which says uh, Psalm 127 verse 1, which is our key text to us today, is accept the Lord built the house, they labor in vain that built it, except the Lord keep the city, the watchman walk, walk, uh, wake in but in vain. So with that key text, um, I'd like to introduce the subject, as I mentioned here, that this was a, it was a psalm that was written by King Saul and uh, written specifically on their way up to Jerusalem. Now we are on our way to the new Jerusalem. God help us to give us, uh, we thank God for giving us this key text as we focus on the, the title that we have today is Founding a Life Relationship. Founding a Life Relationship. So uh, as I introduce the subject, uh, focusing on the fact to build something is, uh, we need three things, okay? We need three things to build something. We need a foundation, or a principle that will support the outcome that is to be achieved. Then we need the materials 
what materials that will take form or the builder will use to achieve the outcome. Then we need the third one, the builder. The builder will then make or mold that, uh, that uh, materials to get the, the, the result or the principle of what we are aiming to achieve. Now, these three principles, these three points that we will expand on today, and looking at that, we are reminded of this, for example, you know, if you want to build a car, you, you uh, build a house, you need to understand the foundation, uh, the, looking at this three principle, you under, need to understand the foundation, the type of soil, what materials, you need to understand what, what you need to decide, what are you going to build it out of concrete, or are you going to build it out of timber, and then you need to decide on a carpenter, the person is going to build it. For example, for a car, you need to, your principle is what type of car will be, uh, what it should carry. Um, should it be a, a, a car that will carry people or carry goods? The materials, what type of materials will, be, will, will that be used? And the car builder, that is the builder that, that will build the car. Now, in a marriage relationship, we have these three principles as well. We have what is the founding or the foundation of, of, uh, of getting married or getting into a relationship? Is it the love in the Lord? Then we have the materials, which is man and woman, and then the builder, Christ. Now, what we will focus on in our message today is from a spiritual perspective, a spiritual perspective of a relationship where we have the founding principle or the founder, which is God, the materials, which is self, myself, you as, as youths today, where you're made up of body, soul, and spirit, and the builder, which is the Lord Jesus Christ, the Messiah, who is building us and making us into what God wants us to do. But before I get to that, uh, three, we'll share these three principles, the foundation, the materials, the builder. In this context, I just want to share a testimony a testimony in relation to this, this concerns, this marriage relationship. And with that, beloved, I just want to say this testimony of a young man who was a non-Sabbath keeper, who, who had a blind faith in the Lord and always walked, uh, desiring to, to praise God. And he, he was looking for, for uh, at, the, at an age that he was uh, in his late teenage, he was looking to get married. He was uh, continuing to work and serve God, but he was not a Sabbath keeper. And he prayed unto the Lord and asked the Lord, Lord, uh, I would uh, I would go along with anyone that you give as long as we lawfully uh, respect um, and, and, and ensure that we keep God's principle in, in our relationship. In other words, God to be the founding principle in the relationship with that, uh, with that girl. He finally met someone and that someone... Uh, little be known to him, uh, she was a Sabbath keeper. They finally met, and she didn't, he didn't know. Uh, as the relationship grew for uh, three years, on the fourth year, the third year, they made up for each other, and he found out that she was a, a Sabbath keeper. In this discussion, in this relationship, he became to understand what the, the Sabbath means and and what um, the the principle of the faith is, and. He married this this uh, this young, beautiful young lady, and they 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 uh, they lived together. And he became a, a Sabbath keeper, and he is a uh, um, uh, he has been happily married for twenty two years, and he has three beautiful kids. And I thank God for that for that testimony, for that for that uh, founding uh, love that we have Christ as the founding love. Uh, the, then we have the, the two as material is that young man and that young woman, and then Christ the builder that built the, the relationship to be the cornerstone of that relationship. Now, that, that uh, beloved, uh, that um, uh, youth uh, today uh, is uh, back to my, my, uh, my uh, example there on the founding principle, founding principle, the materials and the builder concerning a marriage relationship. But the key message today is about 
a spiritual relationship with the Lord, where we have the founding principle or the founder, God himself. The materials will be you and, and myself and whoever that, that has a body, soul, and spirit and love God. And the builder is the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, with that said, we have the testimony. Let's let's uh, let's go into our message for today. Except the Lord build the, the house, they that labor in vain, that built it, except the Lord keep the city, the watchman worketh but in vain. Now the two key words here is to build and to keep. To build and to keep. As I mentioned earlier, the foundation, the foundation or a principle is what will support the outcome that is set out to be achieved. So what is the outcome? The question I have for you today, uh, fellow yields, what is the outcome that you desire? What foundation is the basis of your life relationship? Is it the love of the Lord? Ephesians chapter 2 verse 20 tells us, and and are built upon the foundations of the apostles and the prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. So here, Christ is the chief cornerstone, the builder, and the cornerstone, the foundation. Christ the foundation here. In whom all the building fitly framed together grow unto a holy temple in the Lord, in whom ye also are built together for in for in a for in a habitation of God through spirit. So, beloved, as we as we understand this, God is telling us that uh, in, in, in Prophets and Kings, page 36, uh, paragraph uh, 1, that of this spiritual temple, Christ is the chief cornerstone. Christ is the chief cornerstone. In whom all the building fitly framed together and grow into a holy temple in the Lord. So, we are the materials. The foundation is God. The builder is Christ. We thank God as we get more deeper into this message. What design or principle, what design or principle in relation to our family that we would like to portray? Well, in, in AG page 288, uh, paragraph 2 tells us, God designs that the families of earth shall be a symbol of the family in heaven. Christ's home, Christ's home established and conducted in accordance with God's plan um, amongst his most effective agencies for the formation of Christian character and for the advancement, the advancement of his work. We are reminded in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 19. Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure, having this seal that knoweth the Lord knoweth them that are his, and let everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. So the foundation, God himself, Christ, is what we are reminded here today. How about the church? Well, we are reminded in Gospel Workers, page 464, paragraph 1. And I read the marked in red. By its members are inspired with the zeal to deny self, to put forth self-sacrificing efforts, to send the truth to the regions beyond. We are laid under a most solemn obligation to furnish in Christian mission an illustration of the principles of the kingdom of God. The church is to work actively in an organized body to spread abroad the influence of the cross of Christ. So we have a foundation. We have God, the family that's been mentioned, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, the family is, is what that I've mentioned earlier, is, is the family on earth is a symbol of the family in heaven. So with that being said, God is reminding us in faith I live by, page 254, paragraph 8, the greatest evidence the greatest evidence of the power of Christianity that can be presented to the world is a well-ordered family, well-disciplined family. This will recommend the truth as nothing else can, for it is a living witness 
of its practical power upon the heart. So God is helping us today, telling us and helping us to see that our family is from God. So now we've touched the foundation. Let's look at the materials. The materials, as I defined it earlier, the material is a physical form that the builder will use to shape, eh, to shape, um, to build. So the material is governed by its specification. A timber is a timber because the timber itself has got grains in it. So it makes its strength. The concrete is a concrete because it has sand, it has um, it is, uh, 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 rocks, it has also lime in it that makes it become a concrete. So that being said, God is telling us that the materials God wants to use from a spiritual perspective is that God wants to use you. God wants to mold you. The question I have for us, for the youth today is, what materials is needed for a spiritual relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ? First Corinthians chapter 12, verse 12 tells us, For as the body is one, hath many members, and all the members of that one body, being many, are of one body, so also is Christ. Verse 13 goes on to say, For by one Spirit we are all baptized in one body, whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be bond or free, or whether we have been all made to drink into one spirit, for the body is not uh, one member, but many. If the food shall say, because I am not the hand, I am not of the body, it is therefore not of the body. Verse 16 goes on to say, and if the ear say, shall say, because I am not the eye, I am not of the body, it is therefore not of the body. So we see this description and finally goes on to, to verse 17 to say, If the whole body were an eye, where we where we where were the hearing, if the whole were hearing, okay, where where were the smelling? Verse 18, but now God has set members, every one of them in the body as it is pleased him. And if they were all one member, where were the body? Verse 20 sums it up to say, but now are they many members, many members, yet one body, yet one body. So this material that, that God, like in, in, a, in a human being, you have the eye, you have the mouth, you have the hands, you have your feet, they are all different but they're all part of one body. God is, is, is looking to make that body, that soul, that spirit, to mold it into what God wants in a relationship with him. In a church in, in situation, we have the same concept in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 11. In the gifts that were given to the church, it says, and he gave some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors, some teachers, for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of, of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. Why all this? Verse 13, till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto a measure of a stature of a fullness of Christ. God wants to make us into the fullness of the body of Christ. So now we've touched on the foundation. We've discussed the material. Let's understand the builder. The builder is the Lord Jesus Christ. The builder makes, the builder molds, the builder shape the materials to form the outcome or the principle of the foundation of what is wanted. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 14, verse 15 tells us, but speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Christ. Verse 16 tells us, From whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every point, every joint supplied, according to the effectual working in the measure of every part, maketh increase of the body into an edifying of itself in love. 
All this is done in love. God loves us. God is molding us, making this joint, my hand, my elbow, fitting everything because God loves us. Romans chapter 8 verse 28 tells us, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them which are called according to his purpose. God has a purpose. God has a purpose. In Genesis chapter 1 verse 27, tells us, so God created man in his own image. That is his purpose. We are created in his own image. In the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. Colossians chapter 3 verse 10 tells us, and he have put on a new man, which is renewed in knowledge, knowledge, after the image of him that created him. So we are created in the image of God. Beloved, as I end today to conclude this short message, I would like to end on this personal note on, on Matthew chapter 5, verse 48, where we are driving, we've discussed the foundation, we've discussed the material, we've discussed the builder. What this, all these three things, God is telling us in Matthew chapter 5, verse 48, be ye perfect, therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. We have been, uh, we have a foundation, the Lord Jesus Christ. God is our foundation. We have the material, a body, soul, and spirit. And we have the builder, the Lord Jesus Christ, is making us perfect, getting us ready, getting us prepared for heaven. Because it says here, be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. In that we look at a congregation. While that God mentioned this in Ezekiel chapter 34 verse 12, as a shepherd seeketh out his flock in the day that he is among his sheep that are scattered, so will I seek out my sheep and I will deliver them out of all places where they have been scattered in the cloudy and dark day. So, when we understand this, fathers and mothers today, we are reminded, we are reminded of uh, of this particular point that in the great day of reckoning, I will be asked with him, I will be asked him, where are the children that I entrusted to your care to educate for me? God is in entrusted us parents, these youths, uh, God has entrusted us that we we uh, then entrusted their care unto us so that we educate them. We are educating them the way that God wants us, that God wants them to be educated. As I read further from the Spirit of Prophecy, it says here, that the lips might speak my praise. Youths, you have been educated today to speak the praise of God. As I read further, and their lives be as a diadem of beauty in the world, and they live to honor me through through all eternity. We are given this great task that we will teach you youths so that you will honor God, honor God throughout eternity. Beloved, as I end today, Hebrews chapter 6, verse 1 reminds us. Therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ, let us go unto perfection, not laying again, not laying, laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith toward God. God desire that we walk towards God in perfect. God is calling you youths today. God is calling all of us today that we be ambassadors for him to go forward and understanding, in order for us to go forward, we may have a, fi a, a life that is founded on a life relationship, in a relationship with God. We understand today that the foundation of the principle is God, because we are created in His image. We understand today to build, we need the material. The material is you, your body, soul, and spirit. God wants to use you. And the builder is the one and only, the Lord Jesus Christ, that wants to build you and want to, to take you. Be ye perfect, because our, 
Our Father in heaven, he's, he's perfect. God wants to make us to be perfect. Jude chapter 1 verse 24 tells us, Now unto him who is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. God wants to tell us today. God is reminding us today that we need to be uh, to be kept from falling. We need to be founded with a life uh, relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. We need to be founded with God's principle. Our body, soul, and spirit needs to be submitted uh, to the Lord and Christ will mold us from, from what we were to what he want us. Be ye perfect because our Father in heaven is perfect. I am reminded again with this psalm, our key text for us today. Psalm 127 verse 1. Except the Lord build the house, they that labor in vain that build it, except the Lord keep the city, the watchman work, worketh but in vain. So remember, this particular psalm was written, 137 is between the psalms that are reminded that they normally sing on their way to Jerusalem from Psalm 120 to Psalm 134 for them to go and, and observe the yearly festival that's recorded in Deuteronomy chapter 16. Beloved, that was then. Now we are reminded as I am today, God is preparing this youth the spam youth, we are being prepared. Seventh day Adventist reform movement spam youth from the French Polynesians to Samoa, right up to Fiji, all the way to the Solomons, to Vanuatu, to New Caledonia, and to Papua New Guinea. God is speaking to us today to prepare us to found our life in a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. As we make this journey, Psalm 127 verse 1 is a psalm that is sung on the way to Jerusalem then. But we are on our way to the new Jerusalem. God help us as we sing this. We understand that God is wanting to build us ready and prepared for the new Jerusalem. We give God the glory and the honor and praise for his message that has been given to us today. The glory and honor and praise solely belongs to him. Shall we kneel in a word of prayer to give God the glory for the message that is given us? Let's kneel down for a word of prayer. Let's pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, we're so thankful today again for your love and mercy. We're so thankful that you've spoken to us as youths today uh, on the topic of founding a life relationship. Father, we are so thankful for uh, make, giving us the understanding to understand the foundation is made up of the three components of the foundation. Uh, to build, we need, the we need the foundation. To build something, we need the foundation. We need the materials and we need the builder. And today we are taught that all this refers to the founding principle of God, making us in his image and in his likeness. And our, the materials is ourselves, our body, soul and spirit, making and molding us to be good citizens, be perfect for you, heaven, Lord, are perfect. And yes, Lord, the builder is none other, Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord, for the message today. And we specifically pray upon the lives of the youths for the spam across the Pacific. Lord, we pray, be with them and guide them and bless them in their future endeavors. As we sing this Psalm 127 verse 1, the psalm that was sung as they made their way to Jerusalem, as they ascend to Jerusalem. Now we will sing this psalm as we ascend to the new Jerusalem. The glory and honor and praise be yours in yours alone, Lord. This is our prayer. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you. I thank God again for the opportunity that we've uh, shared the word of God today. And uh, it is our warm wishes from the Isles of Fiji that uh, fellow youths, uh, members from the French Polynesians, the Samoa, uh, Fiji, uh, to Vanuatu, to the Solomon Islands, uh, to New Caledonia and to Papua New Guinea. May God bless all of you and enjoy a wonderful time in sharing.
this uh, SPAM, uh, SDARM SPAM Youth Convention. God bless you all today.